Hey there, Capricorn. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot. I'm a witch and a tarot card reader, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, Capricorn for the week of February 7th. If this one isn't resonating so much, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon sign, which is emotions, and your Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You may want to do that anyway, since there's probably messages there for you. If you are a cross-watcher, meaning that you're involved with a Capricorn, keep in mind that the energies here could be reversed or flip-flopped. Uh, just interpret the reading as it makes sense to you. If you would like your own private reading, you can find all of my info down below in the description box. I do a $20 quick reading, a $50 reading that's almost exactly like what I do here on YouTube. I also do a $75 deep dive 10 question reading. And again, all of that information is down in the description box. Um, I have gotten reports that there are people impersonating me on Instagram. So if anyone reaches out to you and asks you if you want a reading from me, uh, they're a scammer. I don't reach out to people and ask if they want a reading. If you want one, you have to order one. So block that person and run. <laughs> um, I will be doing an extended reading here. You can get that by clicking the join button down below. If you're on an iPhone, it won't show up. You'll have to be on a desktop because of Apple and Google shenanigans. Uh, it's 10 bucks. It gives you access to all of the extended readings for every single sign for an entire month. All right. Uh, I will be giving away the quartz and tourmaline pendant that you see in the top right of your screen at the end of this month. Uh, stay tuned to the end if you would like to learn how to win that. All right. Having said all of that, and I'm sure I forgot something, <laughs> um, we're looking at your overall energy here. I'm going to pull cards for your person, and then I'm going to clarify everything that comes out. I'm using the Tarot of Mystical Moments, which I will link down below, and then I will be using um, the Spacious Tarot to and uh, clarify everything. So I get the sense, all right, we have a separation here, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. There is a separation going on here between you and your person. Now, it could be actually physically not seeing this person or like an emotional distance or an emotional separation from the person or energetic. We have cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head, Tell me down below, have you, did you have any experience with cassettes? I certainly did when I was a kid. Uh, this person I think is replaying some events. I think they're a bit nostalgic for you. We've got the page of swords here. This is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra energy. So you could be dealing with an air sign, but I think of the page of swords as, well, he's showing up here on this pile of books, right? A scholar. Um curiosity, uh, mental, like mental energy coming your way. This person could be watching you online. They could be thinking about you, curious about you. I often think of the page of swords as like a researcher or a student, um, just someone who is trying to figure out maybe what you think about them. And I'm saying that because we've got the nine of pentacles here. I think this is your energy. Could be theirs, but that's what I'm sort of feeling here. The Nine of Pentacles is someone on their own, kind of being happy with their own life or focusing on themselves. You usually see this as a card of some, uh, it's a young woman usually in a garden. She's got a bird usually. Kind of just in the garden of her life, um, she's got like this whole harvest thing in this, I think it's a shell that's on her head. Um it's kind of harvesting the fruits of your labor. So maybe you're working on your career. Maybe you're working on your health, your wealth, a focus on you. We've got the hanged man here, Pisces energy. So you could be dealing with a Pisces, but it's a sense of being stuck. I don't think this person has moved on from you. And I don't think they know how to exactly approach this. Um, Knight of Wands is someone coming your way. So heads up, they're heading towards you. 
the knights travel in the deck, and this could be physically this person showing up. Um, the Knight of Wands is Leo, Sag, and Aries, so this person could be a fire sign, someone with fire in their chart. I love this depiction of the Knight of Wands. That's specifically a Sagittarius card, FYI. Jumping through hoops here. Um, Knight of Wands is like, notice me, look at me, I'm so charming. I want to get your attention. Um, I want to win you over, or win you back. So let's check this person out and see what's up. So I totally forgot to do your Oracle card here. It's Morning Dew Girl. So face your fears, awareness, consciousness. The woman on this card collects raindrops in her basket of leaves. She is called Morning Dew Girl, and she symbolizes the receiving and absorption of all the worries and fears. She invites us to start sharing our own feelings and worries. We can collect them and deal with them instead of hiding them deep inside. She stands resolute and strong, ready to face her fears. And I do think this person has been closed off. I don't know if they're fearful and worrying, but with that seven of wands in reverse, seven of wands in the upright is someone who's standoffish. They create barriers and boundaries between the two of you. They keep you at arm's length. Their guard is up. And the four of pentacles also speaks to that. It's someone who doesn't want to be vulnerable can also mean someone not giving you their time or their energy or their effort. There's a real guarded sense with this person. Guard is coming down a little bit. That may have been why you distanced yourself from this person in the beginning anyway. We've got the justice card here, Libra energy, someone wanting to apologize or speak their truth, be more open and honest with you. I sort of think of the justice card as like ethicism, someone being ethical here. Um, Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. So lots of fire. Queen of Wands, they could have fire in their chart. I think that she sort of symbolizes someone taking action here. I love that she has this peacock feather for a dress. I almost get the sense this person is going to be peacocking a little bit for you, trying to get your attention. Um, Queen of Wands is very social, very charming, uh, very sexy, exciting. She takes action. Page of Cups, you do have communication coming in. That is Cancer Pisces and Scorpio energy. It's watery. And we've got the world in reverse, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo energy. The world in reverse is unfinished business, meaning this cycle isn't over with this person. They're not done. Uh, well, let's use the spacious tarot and clarify that. All right. So what is going on with this person? Well, we've got the Seven of Swords in reverse, and we have the Emperor here. Seven of Swords is lying, cheat, cheating, stealing, sneaky, being shady. In the reverse, something came out here, or sometimes the Seven of Swords can be about lying our, to ourselves or deceiving ourselves. With all of the closed-off energy here, I wonder if this person didn't allow themselves to express their feelings or even feel their feelings. Like maybe they weren't acknowledging how they feel about you. We've got the emperor Aries energy here, the divine masculine, the father, the husband, bossing up, taking control, bringing order to chaos here. This person is finally ready to handle the situation, which is something that they've been needing to do. going on with this person? Oh, that's too many. We've got the Magician here, and we've got the Six of Cups. 
There, you can see that better. Uh, the Six of Cups is having a shared history with someone, um, feeling as if you've had the shared history. They may feel as if you're their person. Sometimes that card can symbolize a soul tie or a soulmate situation, a twin flame situation. It's a card of the past. This person is also nostalgic, I think, for you. Um, thinking about the times that the two of you spent together. The magician is Aquarius, Gemini, also a little bit Aries energy. Being very persuasive, very charming. The magician, that queen of wands, this is someone who's kind of bringing up the big guns here. Um, being very intentional with their words. And I think this person is aiming to get you back, basically. I think that's what's going on here. Um, so heads up, they're heading your way. And I do think they're going to be a lot more open than the last time you spoke with them. All right. Uh, if you would like the extended reading, click the join button down below. Um, if you would like your own private reading, you can also find that info down below. If this resonated, let me know. If not, go ahead and check out your moon and Venus. Uh, blessed be, and thank you so much for watching. And hold on just a second, and we will talk about that pendant. So uh, this is a clear quartz with black tourmaline in it. You can see that streak of black there. Uh, this is a very protective, very high vibe kind of a, a crystal necklace. Let me show you the back of it. So as you can see, it's open on the back. Um, this will be up against your skin. This is my favorite way to work with crystals. Most days I end up wearing a pendant necklace. Um, a sacred adornment, I think, is really a potent way to, to kind of harness that energy. And this is a very protective, very grounding, uh, very high vibe kind of a, a pendant. Um, let me show you the one that I'm wearing right now, show you what I mean. So this is the rose quartz one that I'm currently wearing. You'll need a chain for this. Um, if you would like to win this black tourmaline necklace, um, all of the directions are down below in the description box. You'll have to follow me on Instagram, be a subscriber, and then fill out a Google form with your info so I can mail it to you. It's only open to the continental United States um, because of shipping costs. However, I am planning on doing another giveaway where I give away a reading. Um, so look for that probably next month. I will be um, pulling the winner's name at the end of this month for the, the pendant. Thank you so much. Uh, best of luck to you and blessed be.